AI agents for beginners part two how to build an agent we'll be using small agents write this code to construct a code agent what's a code agent an agent that runs code under the hood it's given a list of tools and creates a system prompt describing all the tools it can use then as it responds small agents will parse the code run it and feed the response back to the model that sounds dangerous it's given a list of safe imports so it can't import os and delete your files now run the agent by asking what's the 50th number in the fibonacci sequence it'll write code to calculate it then return the correct answer now let's implement the time tool from the last part where we had this code which returns the current time given a time zone to make it work with small agents wrap it in a class called get current time tool this needs a name description inputs and output type rename the function to forward make sure these fields have all the information needed for the model to use the tool without making any assumptions or guesses now let's pass the tool to the agent and ask what's the current time in boston it works you can use any model you want including anthropic and open ai but if you want to run agents for free i recommend the hugging face inference api or if you have a good gpu run a quantized model locally like gemma 3 with olama or if you have eight mac mini slides around than DeepSeek R1. Now you may be wondering, what can I actually use this for? An example I made, and why this video took so long, is MeshGen AI agents in Blender, kind of like a 3D modeling co-pilot. It uses small agents, so feel free to use it as an example. It's an exciting time for agents, with everyone now talking about MCPs. What are MCPs? New video soon.